Hello. In this Weka tutorial, this is the eighth Weka tutorial, we're going to see how we can use the numeric transform filter in Weka. So in order to do, the, do this, uh, we're going to use the iris.r file provided with the Weka datasets. So in this iris.r file, you can see that we have five features or attributes sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width and class. Here you can see uh, that sepal length uh, they are considered as real numbers and we can have some data here like 5.1, 4.9 and so on. But this is very realistic that when you for your particular data set are extracting some features uh, from texts or from images then you can have uh, real numbers that goes uh, 5 to 7 or to 15 digits even after the decimal points so if you have a large number of precisions after decimal points then it has been proved that some of the classification algorithms they give you bizarre results and uh, in order to avoid that uh, you have to transform those feature values either to uh, its absolute values or to ceilings or to the floors so that your classification algorithms can uh, really read those feature values uh, appropriately and develops a better classifier for you so in order to use the numeric transform in Weka, Weka Explorer, uh, we are loading for this tutorial the iris dataset. So in this iris dataset, if you choose the first feature, for example, sepal length, you can see that this selected attribute has the minimum value of 4.3, maximum of 7.9, and you also have some information on the mean and standard deviation for this particular feature. So what if your classification algorithm really doesn't support uh, precisions after decimal points? That means, in other words, if you give your classification algorithm some precisions of the decimal points, then it's it, it's not learning at all at all. It only works well with uh, an integer, not with the real number. So what do you do that time? So in order to uh, avoid that, you can use the Weka numeric transform filter, and in order to do that, you can choose at this filter go to the wake up filters unsupervised and attribute there you can find somewhere in the middle a filter called numeric transform so you select that and when you are selecting you will see that you have a default setting of method name called apps so this apps is the exact method uh, that's defined inside Java and so far from these tutorials you already I'm assuming that you already know that Weka is built upon Java so in this case in to transform those feature values numerically it uses some of the Java methods so apps or absolute method of Java is the default setting for numeric transform filter so what we're going to do here is we're changing apps to floor and you should know that Java has a math method called floor that actually takes the floor value of any particular instance and as we are trying to transform the feature value of sepal length which is our first feature in attribute indices you define that to 1 so if you want to change uh, if you want to transform the numeric values of petal width then you should write it down 4 here okay so as we are interested for changing 
or transforming the numeric values of simple length are our first feature for this tutorial we are going to use attribute indices 1 and you can see that the class name here is java.lang.math that's, that's the default java class and we have used the method name called flow so we click ok and we click apply so you can see that the minimum and maximum they are now all set to some floor values this means that previously the minimum was 4.3 because we were having some real numbers in our data set but as we have used or applied numeric transform with a floor java method at that time we are not currently having any kind of real number we are all having the integer numbers for this particular attribute so if you want to save this data set at this stage and we're going to save that on my desktop we save that and we're going to double check if we have done everything right so we are going to open it with notepad plus plus and you can see that the first attribute value they are not containing the decimal points anymore so in this way if you have any classification algorithm that does not support precision numbers of the decimal points or that does not support real numbers but when you're extracting features uh, from your data set that those that are actually real numbers at that time you can use the numeric transform filter of Weka and you can choose you can choose uh, absolute values you can choose floors and you can choose ceilings in order to transform the numeric features i hope that helps thank you